and we're live. Hi everyone, sorry I'm late. It's been one of those days. Uh, that's why my hair's not brushed, but oh well, what can you do? Um, so today we're making pineapple pie. Um, pineapple pie is my favorite. Um, it's my favorite dessert. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you um, a couple of ways that uh, that you can do your pineapple pie. Um, my mum, or my late mum, um, she made the best pineapple pie, and um, a lot of the I find that a lot of the old school uh, people they um, they do their pies differently. But um, I'll, I'll show you I'll show you the difference between the two. Um, for me, I prefer this recipe. Um, only because I like um, a lot of custard. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll get started. What we'll do is we'll, we'll start with the, um, the base, okay? And then we'll put it in the oven and then we'll start on the filling. Okay, so I've turned my oven on. Oh my gosh, my hair is tragic. Oh wow, never mind. Um, so uh, you turn your oven on um, between 180 to, to 200, 200 degrees, okay, and um, what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll grease our pan, so once again I'm using just a standard um, baking um, pan or roasting pan, okay, so I'll just grab some butter, so we'll, um, we'll butter our pan, okay, so I just use the margarine. The thing is, you know, the um, pineapple pie is really easy. It is really, really easy. You don't have to use um, real butter. I prefer real butter um, only because I love that, um, that buttery taste of the base. But you can actually use margarine, okay? Yes, yeah, so you don't have to use self-raisining flour. Once again, I prefer self-raisining flour when I do, when I make the um, pineapple pie only because it's light and um, and I kind of get that really nice um, cakey um, taste of, of the base. Um, so that is the reason why I use self-raisining flour. But you can actually use the uh, plain flour. Um, I know my mum used to use the, that's what she used, the, just a plain flour. Now if you don't have um, plain, if you don't have self-raisining flour at home, um, you could always use a cup of the plain flour to two teaspoons of the baking powder, okay? And then instantly you've got self-raisening, okay? So getting back to greasing my pan, like so. Right, put that to the side, and then we'll get a bowl. Now we're doing the base, okay? And... Just cut the butter. Okay, so 300 grams um, of butter. Okay, but because I'm making a little bit more, I'm going to go 400 grams of butter. Okay. What I do is I like to uh, melt it, so I'll chuck it in the microwave. Okay. So while that's melting, I'm just going to add the sugar. So it's just one cup of sugar. And um, you can just mix everything together. Um, but what I like to do first is I like to um, cream the butter and the sugar first, then add the rest of the ingredients, okay? See, my butter's not fully melted. But if you touch it, it's pretty soft, okay? So that's all good for me. Okay, so this is what they call creaming, okay? So you're just mixing the butter and the sugar together. Okay, then you add the um, flour. So because I'm making a little bit more, I'm gonna go 400 grams. So the easiest way to remember the base is 300 grams of butter, three eggs, three cups of um, of flour, okay, but because I'm making a little bit more, I'm going 400, which means oh, I need 400 um, grams of the flour. 
oh, sorry, four cups, not 400 grams, sorry, four cups. So one, two, add the rest of the flour and the eggs. So about four eggs. Now, um, in my mum's recipe, or a lot of the old school um, people, they like to use the, um, the egg yolk, um, which is all good. And what they'll do is they'll do um, the butter. They'll do exactly the same as what I'm doing, um, but instead of putting the whole eggs in, they will separate the egg whites from the yolk, and then they'll leave the egg whites um, till later and then they'll um, whip it up and do like a meringue um, top for the or topping for the the pie okay um, but my my kids don't like the meringue one they like the cream one so um, yeah so I'm just gonna do the cream one today okay so and as I mentioned before everyone has their own take on um, pineapple pie there's no right or wrong way to um, to make a pie a pineapple pie um, it's really down to preference what you prefer I like a little bit more custard in mine um, whereas my mum's recipe had um, it was um, a lot of it was like water based um, and then the, the, the tins of pineapple, whereas I like um, the custard and um, a lot of pineapple. Now, if your, um, if your mix or if your dough is a little bit sticky, okay, just add a little bit of flour. Nothing wrong with adding a little bit more flour. Okay? And then just give it a... Just work that through. Okay, so remember it shouldn't be sticky, um, but if it is, just add a little bit of flour. Okay, should look like this. Voila! Okay, so now my pan. You can put a little bit of flour through your uh, fingers there just to so it's not so sticky and then just work it, see? Now you don't want your base to be too um, thick as well, okay? Don't make it too thick, otherwise you're going to have too much base um, and not, a, not enough custard. It should be it should be um, balanced. Now, with with the original recipe, that's actually enough um, enough ingredients or enough mix to make um, two smaller pans or one big pan. We are done. See, I don't take my like you'll see a lot of the pies that people do. They, um, they actually take it up to, they, they continue to press it right through to cover the, the, the sides of the pan. Um, I don't do that because I'm using self-raisening flour and it does rise. Um, so yeah, don't have to do that. Right, our pan is done. So what I do is I get a fork. Things in there like so. And then we throw it in the oven. So what we'll do is we'll start on the filling. Now my filling is three quarters of a packet of the um, of the custard. So how many grams is this? This is 300 grams. So we'll say 200 grams that we'll use um, of the packet. Now, um, if we were to do it the proper way, we'll um, mix the milk with the custard and then just break it up a bit, then add it to the, um, 
the, the cans of pineapple. Um, but I, I, I like to make every, everything easy, so I'm just going to do everything in the, the pan. I mean, sorry, in the pot, okay? So, we've got four cups of milk. So, like I said, it is a matter of preference. If you like um, a lot of the, you know, just pineapple, just pure pineapple, then do the water base, which is four cups of water. So you know how I'm using four cups of milk? You can do four cups of water, okay? It will still work out. And I'll show you, I made one earlier this morning. Okay, uh, one cup of sugar. Okay, so I'm just going to use uh, three quarters of this packet. Okay, so what I do is I just push out the slot. Maybe that's close enough. Okay, and then give it a good mix. You've got to try and make sure that you um, that the custard's dissolved. So give it a good mix, and then what we'll do is we'll put it on the stove. Actually, we'll, we'll put it on high. Okay, so I've given that a good mix. Make sure there's no um, lumpy bits of um, custard. Okay, I'll put it on the element. And then um, what I do is I add the, oh, I add the, the crushed um, tins of pineapple. Um, now, some old school bakers don't use the juice. Um, I use the juice, I use it all, so I just throw the whole thing into the, um, the, the pot, okay, so we'll do that now. A lot of the, um, the, the liquid in my pot is um, the custard, you've got to make sure you're stirring it all the time. So let's go over here and just make sure we just give it a good stir. See, it looks really creamy, eh? And like I said, if you prefer the um, the pineapple one, like the water-based pineapple, you can do that as well. Um, you don't have to add the, the milk. You just pretty much use the mi uh, milk to, um, to break up the custard and then add it to the four cups of water. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Then I add vanilla. Okay, so vanilla essence. Okay, a little bit of that in there. Okay, so while that's doing its thing, okay, I want to show you the um, the ones I made this morning. Okay. Okay, if you notice the color, if you notice the color on this one, this one is the water base, um, the water base. Um, mixture or filling okay so this is much like my mum's one okay in fact this actually let me show you this pie okay so that's my mum's pie okay so um, the flour I use bake I mean sorry I use plain flour for that one and um, I, I did her filling as well as the um, meringue on the top okay so that's that's the difference between the pies okay um, you'll notice with with our custard um, it's a different um, color it's almost orangey um, to the yellow uh, of a water-based custard okay hope that makes sense see this one here it's a different color okay so as soon as this one boils then um, we can add some cream to it, okay? And once again, this is my take on it. Um, everyone has their own versions of, um, of pineapple pie, but this is what I like, okay? Another thing that I always make is pineapple pie tarts, okay? I'll show you. Okay, so that's another way you can um, make your pineapple pie instead of doing it as a pie in one um, baking pan. You can actually do them as pineapple pie tarts, um, and they're, they're they're so much more easier doing them in the um, in the muffin trays. Okay, let's check on our. 
So if you don't keep stirring it, it will stick at the bottom. And then when it sticks at the bottom, you can have like that burnt um, custard taste. You know, and for the topping, um, I just prefer cream with nuts. My kids don't like nuts. Um, so I just cream it and then um, just shave off some chocolate, sprinkle it on top. Or I've seen some um, old school people do um, put peaches or whatever. Do whatever you like. Now, um, I had someone ask if I could use what if they could use the same recipe for the moon pies. Um, yes, you can use the same recipe um, for moon pies. So what I do is I put on high heat and then um, as soon as it starts thickening up or boiling, then I just turn it to low. Ta-da! See, look, it's a nice light brown. Okay. You know, my kids were asking me why, um, why I'm giving away all my, my secret recipes. Um, the way I see it is, uh, you know, my kids, um, no one's into baking, no one's really interested in cooking, and, you know, I can't really pass anything down to them. So, for me, um, it makes me happy when I see um, my viewers um, giving my recipes a go and so yes so that's why I'm passing it down to you guys and this takes a little bit of time but you just need to be patient with it okay you've got to get the custard right I'll just show you it's starting to thicken up so you can see it's starting to boil So that's my cue to add the, um, the cream. Okay, you're only putting a little bit of cream, so I'm turning the heat down a little bit now. Look. Okay. So it's all coming together. Look how nice and creamy this. Um, it's starting to thicken. Look at that. Almost looks like creamy rice. So this one's almost done. This consistency is just perfect. Look at that. Okay. Um, you know, another question that people ask is if they can use like the custard from um, from the supermarkets. You know, the already made ones. Um, yeah, you can, you can, um, but there's nothing like making, making your own custard, making it from scratch, um, but you can, you can actually um, use that custard and then just um, add it to um, pineapple, crushed pineapple. Right, that is us. What we'll do is we'll take our pot to the, um, the base. So we'll just, we just pour it in there. Okay, I've left a little bit more in the pot so that I can use it on another, another one that I made. That's what it looks like. Okay. And that's it. Your pie is done. All you need to do is just um, leave it to cool and then just um, put whatever topping you want. If you want to do the meringue style, like that, like my mum's one, um, it's just egg whites with a little bit of sugar. Beat it and, then, um, and then bake it, put it on grill. Uh, but you've got to be careful, you've got to watch it because it can burn. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's another, op um, another option if you want to do it that way. Or you can just... Um, cream it. So I'm going to leave the pies to um, to cool down, and um, I'll just quickly cream one of those pies, and then we'll cut it. Okay. I made that one um, probably about a couple of hours ago. So we'll cream it. 
So this, this one here is my mum's filling. Okay, it's my mum's filling, which is the water base um, custard. Um, but I used my, um, my, my base um, for it, okay? Arizona, watch grandma. This girl had one job. <laughs> what? <laughs> I brought the cream. <laughs> I uh, risked my life going to, uh, out of isolation. Oh, whatever. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to. Um, watch out. Watch, watch out. Okay. Watch, watch out for the cake. I'll watch out watch for the cake. cake. Okay. So I'm just going to cream these uh, tarts. Be careful. Wait. That's the tart. And the, like I said, they, they're so easy. And um, they're really easy to come out of, um, of their cases as well. So you look at that. So you can just see, you know, sprinkle some nuts on top or, you know, shave some chocolate, chuck some chocolate in there. Voila. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we'll cut this and we'll see what it looks like. Look at that. So that's what the, that's what the pie looks like. Look at that so that's it guys that is your pineapple pie tutorial for today um, be safe out there and um remember stay in your bubble okay so don't ask me for any freebies okay guys no. oh oh my gosh your hair <laughs> see what Wait, you're doing, you're going crazy with these guys oh it's <laughs> Mana, say bye bye <laughs> say be safe say bye say be safe bye. be safe Bye, okay. Lana. Bye, Lana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's us. Um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again um, at the end of the week. Au revoir. <laughs> uh, hello.